Hey, how's it going? I know it's been really like a long time since I've made a video last. It really sucks that life has kind of taken over my priorities, but I'm trying to get back into the groove of things here on YouTube, so might as well break it in with a video on Destiny 2, which uh, if you know anything about me, Destiny is one of my favorite game series. So I will be doing videos on Destiny 2. Two in the future when it releases on September 6th, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was the PC and console beta. Tell you guys the things I'm most excited for in terms of being on, on the PC because that is the platform I will be buying it on and what you should be excited for, especially as a console player if you came from Destiny 1 because that's what my position is. I came from Destiny 1 on Xbox 360 and I even wasn't even a PlayStation so I didn't get those good exclusives ever. But, you know, the PC version is going to be such an upgrade from the console version because, first of all, you have 60 frames per second. No more 30 frames per second bullshit. That, I mean, frankly, it was bullshit on console, especially with the low field of view, uh, which I'll get into. That's my next point. But 30 FPS never led to any good smooth experience in any first person shooter and especially if Bungie is trying to get Destiny to be on the competitive scene, we couldn't have consoles be 30 FPS anymore or at least I feel like competitive will be on PC but that's to be seen. And now the next point I foreshadowed was the field of view. I think this is the biggest change because for some reason on ps4 and xbox one there is no field of view adjustment and it's kind of maddening when on the destiny one and destiny two frankly the f base or the normal field field of view is very low and it's very just gives you tunnel vision when you're trying to shoot at other people and it doesn't let you get a good grasp of what's going on in your screen besides what is in front of you and as you see right now i have in the gameplay, I'm using 105, which is was the max beta field of view for PC. And I didn't even think that was enough. I thought if they could go up to 110 or something, that would be better, or even 120. But I think it's a huge improvement over the original Destiny, because now you can actually have more control over your crucible gameplay. You can see more of the screen, and you can know what's going on. It's just basic F FPS stuff, and it's just awesome that Bungie put this in. I really hope they put it on console, but I don't think they will. That's probably why I won't be buying it on console, to be honest, because I think the field of view and 60 frames per second is a huge buying point of the PC version i think that's why if you have a pc that can run it and you know here's just a bonus you should know about destiny 2 is that you know a potato pc can relatively run it so i'd recommend running it on pc if you're able to now the last two things i'm going to talk about that i'm really excited for in terms of you know destiny 2 and overall i mean specifically on the pc is the settings management you get to adjust like so many different kinds of settings i wish i had a gameplay i do i'll put it in this video but there are so many options from your reticle color to which to uh just basic ease of life things in terms of graphics and adjusting how you want to have your hud set up i mean that was kind of word salad but if that makes any sense just the settings management is you know going to be huge and then the last point is going to be 4v4 crucible this is a huge change up from destiny 1 and actually i was really apprehensive about this when i first heard about it to be honest when because i came from console which was 6v6 and i always thought 6v6 always worked but it definitely felt more hectic and playing it right now on PC with 4v4 or playing three nights of that it felt so much better on PC at least because you feel much more uh, you the, the need for teamwork and at least a cohesion with your with a somewhat strat with a sort of strategy and it just makes it so it's not super it's just flying around killing you uh, with the, you know I think the 4v4 just really works and I hope that in the final you know, game on September 6th, there is a ground war, a big team play, which I'm pretty sure there will be, as there was in Destiny 1, uh, well, you know, the big map battle with the vehicles. But anyways, this was my video on Destiny, kind of the five things you should be looking forward to on PC as a console player, and 
you know thanks for sticking around and checking out my video it's just like i haven't really made a video in a while so this might be a little dry and quick but i wanted to get out something because it's been so long and destiny 2 is about to come out and i think i'm going to make a somewhat comeback with destiny 2 i'm gonna you know do destiny 2 adventures uh, basically live commentaries over destiny i also have a twitch channel i will be streaming at i always i already stream at. i've streamed black ops 3 i will be streaming destiny 2 and witcher 3 in the future though i just got a new pc set up so i'm really hoping here to make a comeback i mean <laughs> even my voice i have a professional blue yeti microphone so i even have the standard microphone to do th to these to do these commentaries now i'm really happy about that and i'm really happy to at least be trying to make a video and i hope that you guys are at least a little excited as well because we're going to be trying to make some videos that you got that are pretty interesting for you guys in terms of destiny 2 uh even anime and manga i'm still here for that i don't think i'm going to be doing airsoft anymore to be honest but if you'd like to play any video games with me try to add me below i have uh on my twitch channel a bunch of my gamer tags where you can play with me i don't stream often but like i said check out my twitch if you are into that kind of thing and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be seeing you guys later and i will be seeing you guys on september 6th for destiny 2 the hype is real and have a good one a thousand blades taken from the hands of aegon's fallen enemies forged in the fiery breath of Beleriand the dread there aren't a thousand blades there aren't even 200. I've counted. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Ugly old thing. Yet it has a certain appeal. The Lysa Aaron of Jazz. Shame you had to settle for your second choice. Early days, my friend. It is flattering. Really. You feeling such dread prospect of me getting what I want. Thwarting you has never been my primary ambition, I promise you. Although, who doesn't like to see their friends fail now and then? You're so right. For instance, when I thwarted your plan to give Sansa Stark to the Tyrells, if, I'm going to be honest, I did feel an unmistakable sense of enjoyment there. But your confidant... The one who fed you information about my plans. The one you swore to protect. You didn't bring her any enjoyment. And she didn't bring me any enjoyment. She was a bad investment on my part. Luckily, I have a friend who wants to try something new. Something daring. And he was so grateful to me for providing this fresh experience. I did what I did for the good of the realm. The realm? Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agreed to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail, never get to try again. The fall breaks them. Some are given a chance to climb, but they refuse. They cling to the realm, or the gods, or love. Illusions. Only the ladder is real. The climb is all there is. <laughs>